Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Trizus Max with Two Lives Gaming. Thank you so much for joining us again. And uh, I'm fresh from an airport myself. We are busy playing airport simulator first class. This is the mobile version. And uh, for you that don't know, it's still under beta. So it's still under development. Some features still need to be unlocked. Well, in today's uh, episode, what we're going to be looking at is I've finished building a brand new ramp for my, for, for my airport. Um, I've also unlocked a fourth spot. So we'll go ahead and open that on the inside. Welcome to my beautiful airport. And inside we can see that it's been unlocked. And once we unlocked it, well, now it's open to the public, so we can start building more shops there. We can start preparing for the next ramp that's going to come out. But yeah, we're going to want to make some money in that spot. At least we've got the seating fountain. The beer, but the water is not beer, so please do not drink from that fountain. All right. <laughs> So, um, as we see uh, now, I've unlocked inside and you can see that the space is now open. I'm able to place um, another short or ramp in time. Uh, but first, I'm going to have to probably unlock this one that I've built. So, let's focus on what we're going to need this brand new ramp before we start setting any flights on it all right now the first thing that we can see here is is that um, all three of the terminals are open um, we'll have to check the inside and see what the difference is now as you can see on this one here there is a person standing there and here at the boarding desk there is no boarding desk so this is not really open yet we're gonna have to build on that so to save some money what we can go and do is we'll go into general and then at the right top corner here you can see this little switch if we turn it off we save about 4200 a day so we're gonna switch that off in the meantime and now we can see that between the three of them one is off now we're gonna save some money uh, because we are not gonna allow any flights to enter this ramp until we are ready what do I mean by this well first of all we have to look at vehicles the first thing that we're gonna need is uh, another inspection vehicle then we're gonna need another gas vehicle and we're gonna need another catering vehicle it is good practice to have one for each ramp so that should it happen where your demand is high and you've got a lot of flights uh, lining up at the same time that you have these vehicles in place so we're gonna check inside of our car depot here vehicle depot and see the catalog now as far as we can see here we've got six out of six vehicle spots that have already been taken so it's going to cost us 50 grand and we'll take another one there now that's the max limit so we can get two more vehicles crammed inside here before we're going to have to buy another one so uh, the one vehicle that we all know is the most popular is the inspection vehicle so let's go to the catalog and we're going to purchase another one of these all right so maintenance level is at the max here all right I have got two of each so if I want to buy another one we'll take one of these if it's gonna let me buy it now Alright, so here's the problem. 
something that I missed. If you didn't miss it, then you're sharper than me. Put it down in the comments and tell me that you saw no staff available. Increase max limit of available maintenance technicians. So we can't buy more vehicles unless we buy more maintenance staff. So um, if we want some more staff, we're going to have to get some maintenance agents working for us extra here. And this is also seemingly a problem. We, what we're going to need is uh, the upgrade of the max maintenance staff count. Right now we're at 12. We're going to need 15. So we'll buy that. Okay, and then we'll increase the staff to 15. And then we can go to the car park or to the catalog. And now you'll see that we can buy the, air, the airport vehicle. Uh, we're going to buy one of these inspection vehicles. And then the next one that I believe we should have is a field truck. So um, now it says it needs even more staff because one of these field trucks uh, would have to take three staff instead of the 15 that we've, we can only offer now. So another upgrade would be needed. And we can upgrade that. We'll go back to our catalog. And in our catalog now we can see that um, we can purchase the vehicle. So we're going to purchase that vehicle. And now our parking slots in the middle up there, eight out of eight is full. So we can't buy another catering vehicle just yet. However, the catering is not such a, a big necessity. So we'll be buying one of those next. All right. So we can basically say we are now ready for these uh, people, or the packs to use uh, this ramp that we've got. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to open it up and we're going to go into the terminal and we are going to purchase ourselves a boarding desk. And it will put us straight on the spot there. All right. And if we go into our contracts now and we click on planning, you can see that the next one has, has, has a, a line there, it says add an open boarding desk to schedule flights on this ramp. So it means that the boarding desk that we've put down has to be completed first and then we can start putting down flights for this new ramp. Wait a minute, there's one thing that we still have to do. Alright, so now these new vehicles that we've bought, if we go into our vehicle car park, you're going to see that we've got this um, exclamation mark. It says that there's two vehicles that are unassigned. So we know that it's an inspection vehicle. We're going to have to go into our inspection here. And we're going to add that vehicle here with the little plus there. You can see it's gone from three to two two and three up again and then we need the fuel station where we're also going to add our brand new fuel truck and with that in we are now ready to um, open up and see our contracts and if we go into planning you're gonna see that we still have to add an opening boarding desk let's go inside and once that boarding desk has been built, we are able to start planning our flights and use it as usual. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.